news, everyone! Ooh, yeah, sorry, you guys were out last week, but uh, duty called, Middle yeah. Eastern duty. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, yeah. We just had to flat out not do the show because it would have been nearly impossible. Do you know it would have been mission impossible. Ghost protocol? Yeah. Uh, but we did miss some big news because it turns out that thanks to Tugs and only Tugs, mm -hmm. not the actual source that we used for the story or for any other reason, esports agencies will start drug testing their athletes. We Woo! did it! Yes! Oh, it feels so good to pat ourselves on the back. So deliciously good. Yeah. Mm. Thanks to Semphis's big fucking mouth, <laughs> all of his friends and fellow competitors will now have to submit to drug testing for ESL events. Now, um, no word on what exact actions will actually take place if people are caught using the drug without a prescription, but you could easily assume that the player wouldn't be allowed to compete, in which case the team would have to find a replacement or forfeit. Yeah, there's gonna have to be a B squad now. <laughs> Do they already have B squads in esports? Yeah. Sure. Really? So, ESL is testing, but is Big Bad MLG gonna get off of their ass and do something? Well, we don't know. Yeah, Jared Garrettson did not answer the no, phone call. He wouldn't, he wouldn't pick it up. Basically, all they said officially from MLG is that they do not currently ask players to submit to drug tests and point out that that is explicitly stated in their company policy that it is a no-no to use performance-enhancing drugs while competing at MLG events. Which I'm sure that all the players take very seriously. They probably take it about as seriously as they take the terms of service agreements that iTunes makes you agree to every time you update their software. We've all seen how that turns out. I could literally have sold my soul every single time yep. iTunes had never And then you're, yeah, and you're stitched to the back of a Chinese dude. Uh, they did say, however, that the company would, quote, evaluate whether or not additions or updates need to be made to the policy. So for now, they're just kind of hoping that this all blows over and people forget about it, but no! This is Tugs, baby, and we're legitimate, ethical journalists. So below in the description, you'll find a link to a change.org petition, which will force them to take the high road and start drug testing their athletes. Social justice warriors yeah. over here. Now, if there's anything we know about change.org petitions, that they always work 100% of the time without fail. So go nuts. Yeah, but let's move on to more gaming news and away from all that controversy. Ouya is finally dead. Uh, sort of. Yeah, I mean, Razer bought out the company and shut it all down, but they didn't get off that easy because a bunch of devs were working on exclusive titles for Ouya, which kind of seems like a fool's errand. Yeah, mm. no, I'm working on that new exclusive Ouya title. <laughs> oh, good. They said. <laughs> cool. <laughs> With no shame. <laughs> Luckily, those devs raised a big enough stink, which we agree was legitimate, and now good guy Razer will pay them out and all, all the money that they owed when Ouya went down the crap hole. So oh. that's good, good for Razer. It's depressing and uplifting at the same time. Yeah, it was a, what a nice little package of a story. Neutral stories. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> 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 they were like, where's our money? And they were like, ooh, ooh yeah, about that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> boom! Boy, you were just, you were just killing it today. Uh, really though, the biggest news in gaming this week is that I now own Rory McIlroy's PGA Golf. Woo! I don't know why I have it. Looks really boring. Probably won't like it, but I have it. But if I'm going to play Roy or McGillroy or McElroy or whatever the fuck you say his name, uh, I'm, it's meant to be played in bed. Laying in bed using one hand on, you know, strokes in the game and the other hand on strokes in my pants because the game just looks so damn sexy with that Frostbite 3 engine. Uh, but you know what? The only way to do that, upgrade to Windows 10 and stream my What is this Xbox. story? Where is this going? <laughs> it literally Are you talking about a game you own? Like, no, no, no. I was like, I was like, okay, how do I talk about oh, Xbox? Burying the lead. X, Xbox There's streaming. There's one thing I love. It's masturbating and playing <laughs> golf games. And what the fuck are you talking about? I took two of my Oh, thank things. God. It's... I had to figure out a way to get to Windows 10 streaming Xbox That games. was the path you chose. <laughs> yeah. It, you know, uh, oh. <laughs> to tell the truth, it was the path of least resistance too. Because I had like done many other ways to get there and I was like, no one wants to play Xbox games on the PC. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways, <laughs> apparently that's a thing you can do now. Everyone knows that people with gaming PCs just love the sweet, sweet console graphics <laughs> and will do whatever it takes to get the same gaming experience right there on the PC. Finally. <laughs> Finally, we did it. <laughs> Regardless, it's still sort of cool that you can play Xbox One on your PC, like, I guess in a different room in your house or something. Rory McGillroy's golf in bed. Stop. <laughs> yeah, can, no, you just okay, it, you know, it would be way cooler if you could do it like in a hotel while your Xbox is still at home or on an airplane with Wi-Fi, but the connection has to be really good for this thing to work at all. Yeah, I, I mean, I'll try it. Oh, don't say it. Don't. Maybe tonight later, I'm mad with Rory McElroy. 
Uh, so, so I can only think of this being somewhat cool by being able to play games in bed. That's the only thing I can think of. But I can also just bring my Xbox into my bedroom. It would take like five extra minutes, so I don't... Why is this a thing? It's so weird because I actually appreciate that they did it, but I don't know, like, why. I just can't make it work. They're like, here's a feature. Thanks. <laughs> Great. Well, you know, it would certainly be a lot cooler if you could stream PC games to the Xbox One. You know, the exact opposite <laughs> of what they've actually done. But Microsoft isn't ruling that out entirely. Yeah, Phil Spencer said in an interview with The Verge, we understand if you're going to go PC to Xbox, we need to get keyboard and mouse working completely so you can play those games. In terms of where we want to go with our platform, those are absolutely in the scope of things that we want to do. Mm. So, good. There you go. Yeah. There's that to look forward to. Although we really don't see there being a problem with just letting games that have gamepad support run on the Xbox for now, instead of waiting for Microsoft to develop a keyboard and mouse spe specifically for the Xbox. <laughs> Microsoft? Uh, 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 keyboard and mouse? <laughs> Let's get our best men on this. They got <laughs> one coming. Yeah, I know. They're going, they're going to do one. So They just released one for the PS4. Mm -hmm. Didn't add it to the script. Yeah, for Black Ops. <laughs> you just did. That's how we uh, see this. Yeah, there you go. Uh, but let's move on. Mm -hmm. Those Fallout 4 Pit Boys are sold out. So mm -hmm. sorry, I'm pretty sure that everyone that bought one is a millennial working at a dorky nerd job and got it so they can sit it next to their desk and watch it collect dust. Pretty much everyone at this office. <laughs> so Yeah, bummer. The factories actually cannot physically make any more Yeah, so, so sorry, child fans. You get nothing. <laughs> wow. uh, oh, I can't afford a $180 or whatever it was Pip Boy. I guess I'm shit out of luck. But they'll be on eBay like six months later. Because literally, who gives a shit? I saw it in real life. It's not that great. Okay. <laughs> well, anyway, Shibby is out this week because he asked his girlfriend to marry him. Wait. And then when she said no, he kind of lost it. Went on a long vacation to think about the meaning of life or some shit. Yeah, so Elliot's going to step in today and talk about Rocket League. Uh, Elliot, tell us everything that you know about Rocket League. So Rocket League is a game. I haven't played it, but it's been described as good and fun. And lots of people have been playing it, such as actual games journalist Matt Danovic and the people in his office who talk about games five times a week instead of one. What's the gameplay like? It's like that European game where the sweaty guys kick a little white ball around on grass. It's like that, but you take away the foreigners and you put cool little American cars on there <laughs> to run into the balls and knock them into the goals. It's fun for the whole family. Would you say that Rocket League just saved soccer as a, as a sport? For I, a yeah, I mean, I can't wait to see Gravedigger and uh, <laughs> Big Bigfoot push, yeah. pushing a like 60 ton soccer ball around at like Daytona racetrack <laughs> while I put five hot dogs in my mouth. Thank you, Rocket League and your developer, Rocket Jumps Freddy Wong, <laughs> for making this game, which has been described as 10 out of 10. Oh, that's the first 10 out of 10 wow. review. It. I mean, zero out of 10. Uh, oh, okay, fine. I was gonna say, Shibby's gonna be really upset. <laughs> yeah, by the way, Shibby's girlfriend actually did say yes. Mm -hmm. What? So he's getting married. <laughs> He's, he's off the market, boys. Just like the Pip Boys. Yeah, he's off the market. <laughs> no more but Shibby. You've seen Shibby, and he's actually not very good. Yeah, so yeah, just, Shibby is a terrible piece of plastic junk that will fall apart in months. So, wow. <laughs> Well, look, all right, let's hear a real review. Yes. So what actual games do we talk about this week? That fucking golf game? <laughs> let's find a review for that. Yeah. So Ryan Pasquale says about Rory McGilroy's PGA Golf, take away everything fun you ever loved about EA Golf, add some nice graphics, that's what you get. Someone should be punched in the dick for this. <laughs> so. Okay. I actually, you know what was really funny about this is like usually when I have to find these reviews on Amazon, it takes a while to find a bad, like a, at least a somewhat funny bad re bad review. Yeah. But uh, this game is the worst rated game that I've ever seen on Amazon in looking for these reviews. And everyone is just like, it is the worst game that EA Sports has ever put out. And whatever happened between last year's uh, Tiger Woods PGA 14 and them changing the name to Rory McGilroy or whatever, uh, <laughs> They messed up so much along the way that it's apparently uh, just a travesty. Too many morals. Yeah, <laughs> too many morals in this game. Is Roy McGilroy like a... He's like, a family man. He's a, he loves Jesus. He's a Mormon. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> If you had told me that you guys would be gone for a week and this was the episode we yeah. would produce as the big comeback, yeah, this is I would have just killed myself at my comeback. desk. Yeah. Well, um, so 10 out of Lee 10. Lee Trevino's putting challenge. Great. <laughs> Wonderful. 
All right. What? Do we even need to end this episode? Can we just let it no. stop in the middle? <laughs> the thing is, I think that Rory McGilroy should go fuck some hookers. <laughs> what are you? T- I, I don't even. Okay. I don't. I'm. <laughs> I, what? Is this, is this, this, is, this is it. This is it. This is end the of the show. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. Tell them to watch Hope other it content. was worthwhile. Tell them to watch our other Click content. these other videos where someone actually put effort into it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who Rory is. I don't know what's going on. He's a family man. <laughs> what is that? He looks stupid, too. <laughs> I'm done. Wow. He looks stupid, too. <laughs>